OK, question two. We've got to differentiate each of these. Now, these involve, um, in most cases, more than one function, um, the odd one out being this one here. OK, so um, the others, OK, we've got an inside function and an outside function. So in many cases, you can use, do this using the chain rule. OK, um, this one here where the outside function is a log, OK, you may have a special uh, rule for dealing with the case where we're dealing, differentiating a log. There's always a similar pattern there. OK, so um, when, it, when it comes to the chain rule, remember um, the full way of setting it out is y equals something in terms of u, and u equals the inside function expressed in terms of x. So here's our u for the first one. And then you work out dy by du, OK, and you work out du by dx. And that's the full way of setting them out. If you've got a quick way of doing them, then that's great too. OK, now I said the odd one out was this part C. All right, uh, never, ever, ever forget that you have some help in your formula book. So although it is possible to do this one by going back to first principles and going saying it's 1 over cos of 2x and differentiating that using the chain rule, because it's cos of x, cos of 2x in a brackets to the power minus 1. That's how we proved rule uh, the rule for differentiating sec of a constant times x. OK, but there's no need to do that in this case because you need to get used to the fact you have a formula book.